Hello everyone, we're out in the field just east of Union, Nebraska. I caught up with Ben Evers, owner of Farm Focused. Uh, we're out here with some combines and tractors. We're doing a little diesel tuning today. So without further ado, uh, Ben, what exactly is diesel tuning? Sure, so diesel tuning, what most people will be fam familiar with is uh, chipping uh, equipment. We are the alternative to chipping. Uh, we come in, work with the, uh, the actual tune on the tractors, uh, rewrite those tunes and achieve horsepower and fuel efficiency gains that way. Okay, so you're saying the biggest advantage here is you're, you're getting more uh, horsepower, but it's in a safe manner through the tractor? That's correct. Tuning has to do with adjusting a lot of different parameters in the motor, uh, as opposed to the chip, which has more to do with just upping fuel pressure. So it's a healthier way, it's a safer way uh, to get more power and efficiency out of your machine. Okay, and if there is one point or, or one thing you're trying to get across to a farmer uh, about the advantages of diesel tuning, uh, what exactly would that be? Yeah, so as far as trying to get guys interested and understand it, the primary thing is we all know that everything's tight right now monetarily. A lot of guys, though, are looking at needing bigger, stronger equipment, but don't want to put the investment in getting a new piece of equipment, tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes for upgrades. With this particular product, we can give you a, a piece of equipment that has the power of, a, of something higher up in the model uh, for fractions of what it would cost to go up uh, to a bigger machine. All right, so yeah, that's a big thing right now with grain prices being where they are, livestock prices being where they are. This is a way to maybe be a little bit more efficient, save a little bit of money, but also get a little bit better tractor. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I haven't uh, worked with a guy that we've done this with that wasn't happy. Um, you know, they send me texts about how well things are working, and they're pumped up about it, and they can't wait to do their next machine. Uh, it's, it's a win-win. It works perfect. Well, yeah, and you were talking about that beforehand here where you had some guy out in western Nebraska that was worried about his soybeans being a little too green and the tractor bogging down on his combine, but he said he just rolled right through it after your uh, diesel tune. Is that right? That's right. It's certainly the time of year. Um, you know, beans this year are very strong across the board. There's a lot of green beans out there that guys are having to cut, and the machines just struggle with it. When we tune them, give them another 50, 75 horse, they're off and running. They have no struggles. Motor doesn't bog down. Works exactly how they need it to work. Ben, thanks for taking a minute and sharing that with us. For News Channel Nebraska, I'm Andy Klassen.